G'day guys, how are you? Welcome to the channel. This is a plan I've had for a little while. I haven't actually got the time to put it together and build it. So I haven't bothered making a build video on this on this plane as such, but in this video you're gonna see it made. In. This is the Z ZOHD Alpha Strike. It's been out for a little while. It's a little pocket rocket uh, delta wing that's capable of running uh, up to 185 kilometers an hour straight out of the box. I'll give you a run through of what I've done with this. Um, I've literally only just, just finished it off, uh, putting in the uh, FPV camera here up the front and video transmitter. Great looking plane. I've got the uh, Matec F405 TE board in this, running iNav 6.1 at the moment. And it's running a uh, Holy Bro Tico 32 F3 Metal ESC. It's a 65 amp ESC. It's running an 1800 uh, kV motor. The reason I went that lower kV is because I plan to run this on six cells. So this video, I'm only going to be maidening it on, the f on four cells. So it's not going to be as quick as it should be. It should still be a bit of a handful, I think, but we'll see. We're running um, uh, Emacs servos in it. Nothing flash. And I've uh, got a Esheen TX1200 video transmitter here. That's one of the newer ones they've got out actually. It's 1200 megahertz, so it's got a bit of grunt to it. So it's sporting a Runcam Phoenix 2 special edition. I'm not too sure why it's a special edition exactly, but I got it because it was on special and um, keen to try it out. The receiver on this craft is a Happy Model ES900 megahertz Express LRS receiver. Uh, it's my go-to receiver to, for a lot of my, my planes actually. The GPS on this is a Bishan, I think that's how you say it. BN220 GPS, no compasses on it. It's tucked away in, the, in one of the air vents there. It's one great thing about this craft, um, it's got some awesome airflow on it. When you put the, the lids on it, you've got plenty of airflow going through in in all these. I've got my video transmitter there, it'll be sucking in the nice nice air and it vents out the back uh, with these two holes here. So yeah, nice nice bit of design there I think from ZOHD. That's about it for all the, all the gear I've put into this craft. There will be some uh, changes going on over its life and one main thing being the the six cell battery or it will be permanently using in it. Uh, we'll, we'll take it out of the field now. I'm going to be running only the four cell, like I said. And we'll see how she goes on its maiden, maiden flight. Fingers crossed. We'll see you out at the field. G'day guys, out at the field. Beautiful day. Very light winds. As you can see over there, that's the sugar mill. Not much wind happening at all from the uh, pipes out of the sugar mill. And I'm going to Maiden, the Alpha Strike. I've built this one for speed. I'm rebuilding another uh, plane of mine, uh, the Blade Theory uh, as well. They're both going to be capable to run six, six cell batteries and plan is just to see how fast we can get these two going. And this one at the moment's got a four cell in it. I'm only going to be starting it off. It's its first flight. We're going to have to do an auto tune and an auto level. Um, I'm quite keen to see how this thing actually goes when I take it off because it's apparently a bit of a handful from what I've heard, so we'll see. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. I've got a 1,600 uh, milliamp battery in it sitting up the front there and um, we'll try and get a bit of onboard uh, FPV footage for you from the uh, goggles along the way. All right, so I'm running uh, INAV 6.1 for this flight. Ooh, slight wind getting up now, which wasn't real hopeful for, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Worst case, if it's a handful, I'm bringing it straight in. Or losing it, one or the other. All right, here we go, guys. Very important, you do your... Check your CG. It's pretty good. It's a bit hard to tell with the wind, but... I tried, I did uh, work the CG out last night in the... In the shed so that's pretty good there that's balancing well okay we'll let that get some satellites and then we'll get it up in the air don't know the best way to launch this this is a 
tricky one. You've got some holes in the bottom. I'll try it that way first. Beautiful. Auto level. It's running auto level at the moment. So far so good, it's beautiful. Okay, that will do for auto level for the moment. We might pop that back on a bit later. Acro. Auto tune. We've got auto tune on now. Let's have a look, see what we can do with this. Two minutes. I'm very, very surprised at how well this flies. This is incredible. I did, really didn't expect this. I thought this would have been a much more handful, especially on the launch, but it launched perfectly. A little bit more on the, on the pitch. great deal of flight time on this so I'm going to probably look at bringing it in.
Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it in now. Because I'm not sure of the flight time on this, and I don't want to run out because it's, it's been such a good maiden. Unbelievable, that was incredible. I really, really didn't expect that. I thought we would have had a much more of a handful this plane would have been, but it was actually very good to fly. Well, what we'll do is um, we'll take it back and we'll just review the footage, I think, and make a few minor adjustments. And then we'll look at running it on six cells, on a six cell battery next and see what speeds. I didn't think, my speed I got out of that in this one wasn't real good. Only 113 kilometers an hour and I did hit it up on full speed there. So who knows, maybe some prop prop changes are needed. Um, I think the motor's fairly capable, but um, as far as temperatures go, everything seems good. The motor's, Yeah, motor's not even, not barely warm. And the ESC's barely warm too, so... It's a good start. That's a good start for it. The launch got me, the launch was almost faultless. I've never actually had that... Such a good a launch, such a good launch on a Maiden in any of my planes before, and that was... The Alpha Strikes, the, the the only plane that I sort of was kind of dreading the auto launch. I thought it would have done a lot of weird things, but it didn't. It was perfect. Anyway, guys, that's this, that's the Alpha Strike. So stay tuned. We'll do a bit more of that, and we'll try and get it going upwards to what it's supposed to go in coming videos. Now the wind gets up, so that come in pretty good. Um, until then, we'll see you then. All right, guys, stay safe, keep flying, and bye for now. See yous.